What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. In this uh, video, I'm gonna be covering two things. Uh, number one, uh, smog test fees. How can I track these kind of fees? and uh, or any type of fee and number two we're going to talk about tire fees and adding labor automatically uh, let's check it out i'll keep running I'm, keep, I'm running tests right now on the cloud version which is really cool it shows you how fast the cloud version is so the first step is let's talk about smog test uh, if you look at the bottom we just we just select the customer first let's start with that and assume that I uh, you know my shop charges uh, smog test or any type of test like you know EPA test or vehicle inspection all that um, we can use the quick buttons the best way is to use the quick buttons I'm gonna click on that click on hold to edit any of these buttons. remember just click on hold click on hold and it's gonna bring me right here and now I can type in that you know the, make sure it's a fee number one Type in how much you charge. Let's say you only charge fifty dollars, and make sure you code it under code. Make sure you put it under smog test, or if you have any type of uh, like safety inspection test, you can. Put, that's how we track these 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 things. Let's say smog test and just click on save, and exit. And let's use you right here. Let's say I'm doing smog test on this car. It's fifty one dollars. And uh, you know, there's shop supplies, let's just make it $50 even. Click authorize, authorize, and then pay the invoice. Let's say cash, pay invoice, and let's just go back to our reports, check it out. And we're gonna go to fees, we're gonna go to smog test. You see, it's gonna give you all the smog test. You can select the starting date and the ending date, and you can see how much exactly. Mm -hmm you made like in this in this case january 1st january 2nd we've already made 200 dollars. so that's how you keep track because i know you gotta pay these uh this money to the state so all right so that's that covers something smog test like i said you can you have two ways of adding smog tests either under the the quick buttons or you can put it in can jobs if you want to add multiple stuff to it but um, the best way to do it is use the the quick buttons all right, let's talk about tires. I want to talk about tires real quick. Um, let's uh, select the customer again. So if you're a tire shop, um, you have two options. Either you can sell tires uh, from as a part or you can you can track actual tires and sell it as a tire. Um, so let's check it out. Let's go, let's select some tires from, um, let's say from Tire Hub. Um, let's say 245, 45, 20 get some tires from tire hub make sure you take advantage of all these online ordering it's really important it makes you super fast um, let's add those um, uh, four tires from bridgestone all right so this is you see if you look up right here it's going to say tire under type so it's going to be under tire if you select it from uh, from uh, tire hub um, it's going to add the part number automatically, the vendor automatically, and your cost and your sale. You can always overwrite that and say I want to sell it for three fifteen dollars each and click on update. Now, the most important part I want to talk about, you see how it added parts and the fee and the labor automatically. Let's see how that happened. How can we set up that? So let's delete that. We're going to go to general settings and we're going to go to fees and setup. And we're gonna go to state fees right here so in this section there's you can have up to four uh, type of uh, up to four there's I think three for tires and one for the battery and there's mountain balance right here so if I want to add mountain balance when I add tires automatically just make sure let's talk about that first make sure you turn this one on and make sure the auto apply is checked in and type in how many so it goes by quantity so if I say I want to charge $37 on each tire and you know make sure it's auto apply now let's go back to state mandate fee let's say the state mandates two dollars on each tire and make sure if it's taxable or not taxable you can you can do that and then make sure auto apply if I want to add another some of you you guys have <laughs> it's crazy man some of you they have uh, state tire environmental fee let's say this is like 75 cents and let's just say auto apply so now I have two state mandate fees one for the scrap one for the new tire and now we have the mountain balance automatically 
save and exit and let's go back to our estimate and let's just clear it that way we know there's nothing in it to keep track so it's this one is empty if I want to click tires from inventory click on tires inventory and I'm just gonna click on um, um, the Kelly tires say add four click on add and if you look up here you know we added the tires four of them each one is 2906 and uh, 116 if I go back to labor so look what you have right you need it automatically you enter the amount of balance 37 each 148 and the state mandates new tires uh, four of them at eight dollars and uh, the scrap fee which is 75 cents times three is three dollars so that's how you add the uh, parts and labor and fee with tires um, to track all this like I said you go to your let's say um, authorize and pay it and let's go back to our reports go under fees and let's go back to state mandate fees now you can see it's going to show like I said every invoice right here which date you can select the range and you can get your total how much it is so you can pay the state um, so there's the scrap environmental fee which is separate you can get that too um, that's it for today. Appreciate you guys watching. Until next time. Thanks.